debilitating disease called diphtheria. I was skinny and weak, and they tried to do some educational assessment of me. After the evaluation, they concluded that I was one brick short of a load, meaning I was a dummy. As if that were not enough, they tried to put me with a group of brain-damaged children called the Opportunity Class. Then came along Miss Phillips, a teacher whom I believed could make the Rock of Gibraltar look like marshmallows. She said, Peter is not brain damaged. He is just plain stupid. For three years, Miss Phillips punched and kicked me and would say, Peter, you are a bad, bad boy, and you are not going to amount to anything good. That became a self-fulfilling prophecy. At 26, I was a bricklayer and hopelessly in debt. Then came May 25, 1959, a turning point on which everything 